A very good morning to you from one of my favourite places in the world, the Lake District. I love to walk here, I love to cycle here, but today I'm in for a rather special treat because I'm going to make whisky, and you can too, because here at the Lakes Distillery, they're putting on whisky masterclasses, your and my chance to make single malt. So let's go and meet the man in charge of making whisky here, John Drake. Hi John. Hi Jonathan. Looking forward to this. Welcome to the still. Thanks very much. Just really let's go. Cheers. This is where your day starts, Jonathan. We're going to mill some barley. Mm -hmm. So we've got a one ton bag of finest malt on there, and I want you to undo that tag on the bottom of the bag, please. So this is the mill, Jonathan. This is where we're going to mill the barley that we've just loaded outside. So in the middle of this process, we need to take a sample of it in order to make sure we're extracting the right amount of flour which contains the sugars. It's not about the grind, is it? How fine or coarse Absolutely. it is? Absolutely. It's all about the, 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 the profile of the milling of our, of our barley. Take a sample of the grist now, Jonathan. Liam's going to show you how to do that. This is me, Liam. Okay. So we're going to take a sample here. So if yeah. you know this box for us, I'll pour the sample in. What this will do is it'll separate the sample into three sections. So we put the lid back on. Mm -hmm. You shake it from side to side 25 times, and then backwards and forwards 25 times. We're we'll using about 25. Just, just what we were told. I think it's passed down from generations. Uh, okay. Magic number. And is it often you have to change the grind on the machine, or is it normally? No, we just we've right? got a, we've got a rough guide that we try and work to. So as long as it's round about that, we keep it as is. And so far, so good for us. We've not had to change it yet. Okay. I wasn't quite counting. We're dropping twenty five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put that up there. Make sure that for us. I'll pour this into here. So which bit's that? This is the uh, the husk. Yeah. It all goes up to the mash tun, does it? Yeah, it all, it'll all go into the mash tun, and we'll just weigh each, each section out so we know exactly what our uh, sample is. Mm -hmm. Do it again with the next one as well. And this bit is the grits. The grits. And all of these are important for the. Yeah, yeah, they're the all process. important for the ground. We have a 20, 70, and 10 uh, split we're looking for, so as long as we round about that, we're happy. And the last one's the flour. Less flour. Yeah, exactly ten percent flour. Are you happy with that? Yeah, and that's our sample done. So basically, we just start the machine up again. Yeah, and then and I'm then off we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. No problem at all. So we've milled. We've milled. Tell us what's going on here. Well, the grist that we've milled is now in the grist hopper, and we're going to mash it into the mash tun with three different waters. So if you could just persuade the grist into the mash tun for us, I'd be grateful. Okay. Sometimes it gets blocked, is it? Yes, it does get blocked. It can bridge, so we need it to come through smoothly. Three different waters? Three different waters to collect all of the fermentable sugars that we convert into but alcohol. What, what's a different water? Well, we introduce the waters at three different temperatures at different stages of, of, of the mash in order to achieve maximum extraction. Got you. Tell me about this computer here. The mash man will use this as his tool to monitor all flow rates and temperatures of the various waters and the work collection that goes forward to make our alcohol. So just take me through, so you've got, I mean 17 warts run, what's that? Well, process 17 of the whole program is right. warts runoff. So we're actually collecting the wart into the wash back as we speak. Okay, and the wash back, what, what is actually in the wash back in terms of the whiskey process? In terms of the whiskey process, there's fermentable sugar, water and yeast, but that ferments away over 90 hours and we end up with the 7% alcohol. 7%? 7, 7 to 8% alcohol. Okay, right, should we go and have a look at that then? Absolutely. 
And this is where we're fermenting the wort that we collected from the mash tun. Okay. Beery rather than whiskey it smell. Is, it, is, uh, it is essentially, to start off the whiskey process, you make a beer. Okay. So this is fermenting away now to make a beer of around about 8% alcohol, so quite a high strength beer. And how long is it in there fermenting? In there for 90 hours, our average fermentation at the Lakes Distillery. Okay, nice smell. So from there to the still? Yes, but first we need to take an original gravity reading of the wash. Lower it in gently. Okay, so now you've got a clear view of what your gravity reading is. 61.3? 61.3 is a good gravity. Is good? Yeah. I get a job? You get a job, okay. yeah. First class. So, screen now. On the control okay. panel. Okay, so this is where we started, wasn't it? Well, we can control the whole distillery from here, Jonathan. The first screen is, is the, the milling screen, where we, we mill the, the malted barley. And you can see those tabs across the bottom. If you were to click on the next one, on okay. the mash tun. So that's the next process, ah. is the mashing process. Okay, we're back to the... From the grist hopper, yeah. yeah. And the mashing process into the washbacks. And here we can have a look at temperatures, time, uh, we can control the amount of, of froth that is generated in the top mm. of the washback. So question here, you've got two washbacks, I say different temperatures here on, on the, just at different stages, one's 19, one's 24.4. That's correct. These are the times, of the temperatures that, they, that they're fermenting at and they grow as the energy increases in the time of fermentation. The other two are empty and clean and mm. ready for the next mash. Okay, so still you mentioned next, if I can get this, there we go. So this is the distillation screen okay. and from here we get a snapshot of the entire distillation from the wash going in, all temperatures, all flow rates, condensate into the spirit safe and we can see how much we collect in the spirit tanks. Okay, we've got a couple of temperatures here. So what, what's that referring to? We cool our process water in the distillery using a cooling tower, so we have to keep an eye on the temperatures at which things are cooling and coming through the condenser. Okay. A lot of science, isn't there, going into making a good whiskey? There's a, there's a fair degree of well-proven science about mm. it, yeah. Okay, well, let's go and take a look at the still, sorry. Let's go and have a look at the still. Yeah. But first, let's have lunch, John. I guess I'm keen to know why a distillery in the Lake District? Um, I think the surroundings speak for themselves, Jonathan, in lots of ways. The Lake District is a, is, is a magical place in itself, but the, the availability of the buildings has a big part to do with it. And then, of course, the most important thing for a whiskey distillery is a supply of water, good quality water, and Lake District water's soft. Uh, we've had lots of analysis done on it, it's a very high quality uh, and there's plenty of it. <laughs> there's so plenty of it, isn't there? Uh, yeah, so, um, I, you know, those, all of those things together with the old disused Victorian model farm being here just melded together and, uh, and presented a great opportunity. So what kind of, of single malt can we expect from the Lakes Distillery? Because I guess that's what everybody's excited about. Yeah. What's it going to taste like? Yeah, every, everybody really asks that question. It's a tricky one to answer, but what we know at the moment is we've got a really good foundation. We've got um, quite a light, floral, uh, fruity whiskey uh, that's coming off the safe, which is a great place to then move forward into high quality wood and, uh, and, and do some experimentation with the wood and the way that we mature, what we mature in, how we mature it, which is really the exciting part. The wood makes the whiskey, as they say. Uh, 
Yes, the resistors. Yeah, yeah, very beautiful part of the distillery, the, the, the copper wash still. I mean, it, it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, is that, is that what you'd expect to see in any distillery? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a very traditional shape, yeah. um, but ours is uh, to fit in the space that we had uh, and, and still retain all the traditional features of the bowl, the body, the line art and the condenser beyond. Why copper? Copper because it's a magnificent transmitter of, of, of heat, a great conductor, but it also has some reductive qualities and takes some of the unwanted elements out of the spirit. So the wash is bubbling away inside of there. It is. Up the chute, and then what happens? Um, across the line arm, mm -hmm. condensed down to, to 20 degrees and into the spirit safe. On our way, we just have a look mm. in the wash still, Jonathan. Right. That's distillation in action. Mm. Uh, it's not often you can see that with glass doors on our stills, and that's the wash distillation making its way up. And the stillman can view the side glass and see where he's, the progress of his distillation is getting to, and adjust the steam accordingly. Okay. It's quite violent, isn't it? Yeah, it can be very violent some days, depends on the fermentation. All right. And how, how long does it take for all of this to get up through there and get condensed? The whole process takes us about four or five hours to do a wash distillation. This is the spirit safe, quite a traditional piece of kit, and this allows us to monitor all of the distillations from the wash still and from the spirit still, all in the same place. Okay, so wash still into here. Wash still into there. Low wines. Collecting low wines at about 20% alcohol down into a spirit receiver below this floor. Okay, and then from that spirit receiver to the second distillation, is that correct? Yeah, the low wines will be distilled in the spirit still tomorrow. We will include the paints and four shots that we collect today. Okay, so paints are. Faints are, are the, the unwanted part of the spirit run with, the, with some of the more volatile and high-end alcohols in, um, but they do contain alcohol so they get distilled a second time. The spirit here is what percentage proof? You've got, 20, you've got 7 or 8 percent, Yeah. 20 percent and there? Well, the, our spirit cut is, is 70 percent and we produce the spirit at 70 percent, so you've gone from 8 to 20 around about 70. And in terms of the yield, for the amount of water that you put in in the mash tun yeah. through to what you get out here. Yeah. The, the maltster specifies from his crop that we should attain 420 plus litres of alcohol per tonne of malt. So we do a lot of sophisticated calculations to try to make sure we're hitting that target. And I guess it, with the initial set out, which was what, not much more than a year ago, yeah. is it a case of just trying to tweak everything to get the desired ratios? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you lose performance, you start to look at other parts of your plant in order to find out where it might not be performing. Fermentation usually the first place to look. So you, you've kind of built the engine and now I guess it's a case of, of, of tinkering around. Fine tuning. Yeah. Cheers. It smells great as well. Some great aromas. It really is. Now, founders cask. Yeah. I'll tell you a story. I rode past here on my bike before you even opened and signed up. One of the first founders. Yeah, I think so. It's just fabulous, isn't it? It is. The wood makes the whiskey, as they say, mm. and uh, and it really does spends most of its life in here, not necessarily in the process. So, yeah, all the flavours, all the colour, all the aromas, pretty much come from the maturation. But we need now to taste the fruits of my labours today. We do. Don't we? The spirit. We do. Which hasn't been in any wood. No. Just through those lovely copper stills. Yep. And down into here. And down into this old tank here, yeah. Okay. 45 years old, this tank. Was it? I'll go and get you a sample. Okay. Moment of truth, eh? Moment of truth. Just give it a nose. Are you happy? I think it's fantastic. Mm. What do you get from that? It's got a real body to it. Yeah, it does. Okay. A bit creamy. Slunge. Thank you. Just the tiniest touch. Tiniest touch. Powerful, it's in but it. mellow. Yes. It's going to be good, eh? Quality spirit.
fabulous day, John. And I think one of the things that struck me is you've got this kind of centuries-old process, really quite simple, brought bang up to the modern day with some cutting-edge technology. Yeah, we do have some, some quite modern technology in there, uh, a decent aspect of process control and, and also some manual aspects to the plant as well. So, manumatic, we, we, we call it in, in the team. But you've, you've milled today, John, you've mashed, you've, you've, you've fermented, you've mm. distilled. Um, have you had a good day? Yeah, it's been a great day. Have I got what it takes? No, absolutely not. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stick to what I'm good at, drinking it. If you love whiskey, come on one of these tours. Absolutely fantastic. Go on, you're Thank, Thank you, Jonathan. Cheers.